throughout history, the whole attempt with all the isms in the world is to do what? Reverse what happened in Babel. Babel is key right from the beginning of the Bible. The idea of Antichrist is really a one world language and a one world government. So we need to understand the concept of one language. When it comes to one language, one world government, Islam is it. You can you need to go nowhere else because Islam is literally a one world government, universalism. The Arab Spring today. What is it all about? It's really about reviving Islamic fundamentalism and reviving the Islamic Caliphate. Sharia is Islamic law. Islamic law. Now the question becomes, Sharia is law, then what is this whole idea that Islam is simply a religion? It's a myth to think that Islam is merely just another religion or we worship the same God. From the beginning, you'll begin to see these concepts. There is this antithesis of the Bible, and that is the Quran. It is literally the antithesis. What is the purpose of the Quran? The main reason, that is to conquer the world and to destroy the concept of the Trinity. Zechariah chapter 9, I will set Judah, my bow, fit the bow with Ephraim, and set your sons, O Zion, against your sons, O Greece, Yavan. Yavan is in Ionia. Ayawan is in Turkey. Then the Lord will be seen over them. The Lord himself will be seen in the flesh. And he will go with the whirlwinds of the south. If he is going with the whirlwinds of the south, where is he going? North. What's north of Israel? Turkey. And it tells you Turkey, yeah. Lydia is mentioned in the Bible. Ezekiel 38 is all about Turkey anyway. There is not a single Bible dictionary on earth that positions Meshach and Tubal, Moscow and Tobolsk in Russia. Not one. Are the historians wrong? Tell me, are the historians wrong? No. Look at your Bible maps. All of them. Meshach, Tubal, Asia Minor, Turkey. In fact, Gog is the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, of the land of Magog. Not Russia, here. Jesus himself says, Pergamos, thou art the seat of Satan. Hello? Don't ignore those verses. Pergamos is in Turkey. That's the seat of the Antichrist. That's not a hint. That's a direct reference geographic area where it all going to stem from now we go to the other nations that goes with him into the pit who are they you know, it tells you what the composite of the system of the antichrist what countries they are who they are and how they will be cast into the into the pit the lake of fire in chapter 30 what does it say verse 3 verse 2 son of man prophesy and say Thus says the Lord God, Wail, woe to the day. Verse 3, For the day is near, even the day of the Lord is near, in which it will be a battle over Jerusalem. The battle over Jerusalem, in which we will come down with the Messiah. You've got to read Zechariah the prophet. Thus the Lord my God will come, and all the saints with you. We will fight against the hordes that come in against Israel. Look at the nations that goes with them in the pit. Turkey, Sudan, Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco, Mauritania, all these Islamic countries, Libya, that is Libya, Egypt, Muslim. Daniel tells us Egypt, Libya, North Africa, and Sudan, Somalia will follow him, the Antichrist, in submission. Islam means what? Submission. Then it goes on about the Antichrist. Verse 16, I made the nations shake at the sound of its fall when I cast it down to hell together with those who descend into the pit. Wow, there's this pit again. Antichrist, first one, is cast into the pit. And then in verse 22, chapter 32, Assyria is there. All and all her company. Assyria is what? Syria, Iraq. 
Turkey into the pit. Her graves are set in the recess of the pit. Verse 24, there is Elam and all her multitude. Where is Elam? Persia, Iran. There is Edom, verse 39, 29. Edom and all her what? Kings, plural. Edom is much bigger than Jordan. It's Northern Arabia and all these other places, Kuwait, Bahrain, Oman, Qatar, Dubai, Jordan, all these, Edom, all her kings and all her princes into the pit. Then the fifth angel sounded and I saw a star fallen from heaven to the earth. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit. As you pit again, he will open the pit. So he'll be thrown into the pit, and this him, the star, is Lucifer. When was a star a him? Then you go to Revelation, and you begin to see chapter 13 comes out of the sea. In verse 2, it tells you what this beast is, the composite of this beast. It had a body of a leopard. The leopard was what? Greece, Turkey body of a leopard, Greco, feet of a bear, bear is Medo-Persia, Iran, by the way, Medo-Persia, the Medes were the Kurds, Persia was the Iranians, and the bear will rise on one side, it will come in the end, one of them will come, either the Persians or the Medes, today we have the Persians, and the Kurds, nothing. body of a leopard, Greco, feet of a bear, Persia, mouth like a lion, lion is Babylonia, Arabia, mouth, that's where it comes from, the head of gold, Babylonian, that's where the brain, the, the whole thing of Islam stems from where, Arabia, where do Muslims bow to the black stone, Arabia, the seven mountains are seven heads, mountain is not a literal mountain, you allegorize the literal, and you literalize the allegory, mountain is a kingdom, there are seven kingdoms. How do I know that? Look at Daniel chapter 2. It talks about Jesus. The stone that was cut without hands smote the image at its feet. And then the gold and the silver and the bronze and the iron and the clay were crushed together at the same time by the stone. Who was the stone? Jesus. And then the stone grew to become the great mountain. When did Jesus become a great mountain? A mountain is a kingdom, seven mountains they are, five have fallen, one is, five fell, this one John is sitting number six, Roman, the number seven is the one that the Bible is talking about, Egypt, Babylon, Assyria, Middle Persia, Greece, Roman, who defeated the Romans, who became number seven, Roman Empire continued in Turkey, don't forget that, the Byzantine Roman Empire. Number six still was there. Who defeated that? Muhammad II, 1451. Islam took over Turkey. Number seven. And the one that was, yet is not, number seven, is himself also the eighth. Hello, he will come back again. He's wounded. Islam is wounded.